So what is your favorite hacker one value? Runaway number one, default to disclosure. Default to disclosure. The default to disclosure. Default to disclosure. The idea is ask yourself, why wouldn't you disclose something? So the burden on us in living up to default to disclosure is to come up with strong enough justification not to disclose something. I think it prevents the creation of really siloed information within the company, like all information of marketing, say within marketing and engineering. Within engineering. Um, I think it's really powerful to share that information. Every day when I think about should I speak about something, should I ask or like make feedback or shouldn't I, uh, I always try to think that it's better to say it than to keep it inside. You know, you kind of acknowledge that it takes a certain level of vulnerability to be able to address a difficult issue. and. Uh, in doing that, it encourages people to speak their mind. My favorite hacker one value is win as a team. Win as a team. Win as a team. Winning as a team. Starting to let go of things and trust other people um, to be there for support or to just own things. Empowering your fellow hackeronies to be the best them and for them to also uh, push you to be the best you and I always ask your idea and opinion and we just build something together and the outcome is better than the outcome that I can build by myself I guess so and also feeling is better because you do something as a team and the success is going to be team success being able to lean on um, just other people and different sets of experiences and backgrounds has helped us be much more successful in a lot of what we're building Especially in the beginning, I used to try to do all the tasks fast and without the help from anyone. By default, in our organization, we um, try to work together, collaborate together, and we believe that working together, we can achieve more than working alone. My favorite value is start with integrity. Start with integrity. Start with integrity. Starting with integrity. Start with integrity. I don't think I will ever be able to be authentic. I will not be able to engage in healthy debate with other people or have uncomfortable, difficult conversations or make hard decisions or be open-minded or just generally be engaging um, with my teammates and working together if I don't have the trust that they have integrity and that they have the best intentions. If we can be honest with, with ourselves and our customers, they sense that, and I, I am 100% guaranteed that that has actually made us more dollars than if we would have taken bad deals um, because it was just the, the financially right thing to do. It gives us all a good basis to start any conversation, any interaction with. We always do what's right for the customer. We always do what's right uh, for our hackers. We always do what's right for our employees, even when nobody is watching. We have a very significant responsibility to all of those involved to to treat all their information with you know all the respect all the, the the responsibility that we must my favorite value is empowering our community empower our community empowering our community empowering our community building a safe and strong platform for our community members to come together in the company outside the company in the community anywhere our hackers, our employees, uh, anyone invested in our H1 Live bug bounty events. Whether they are a top hacker, you know, a million dollar hacker, or if they haven't even found their first bug yet, um, really putting ourselves in their shoes and empathizing with them on the deepest level we can, getting a good understanding of what their needs are and what they want from us. The impact that uh, what we do has on folks around the world um, is far outsized compared to what we may experience in our own lives. Let's make it such that others can benefit from it, whether they pay us money or not, whether they are a hacker or not. My favorite hacker one value is acting like an owner. Act like an owner. Act like an owner. Act like an owner. Act like an owner. There's a way to solve a problem in a way that fixes it just for you, and there's a way to solve it in a way that fixes it for um, everyone else who might also have that problem. A real owner would go in there and wouldn't ask themselves whether it is their place. They would already know that it is.
and they would go straight to the table and they would start presenting solutions. They wouldn't allow their pride or anything else to get in the way. There's lots of situations where when talking to someone in a different team, you realize you can pitch in and help out. To never be afraid to sort of, you know, raise your hand, raise your voice. Fix it, pick it up, do it, you know, don't wait for somebody else to do it, you just do it yourself. Seeing people come together to solve it and be more responsible and more um, ownership driven way is uh, really motivating on a day to day basis. I can't really think of a time where it helped me just once because it helps me all the time. Um, it really is ingrained in everything that I do. We're all in this together. This is the, our code. This is what we like go by. We, this isn't just something we say, it's things that we do. That's how we grow and push ourselves forward. Uh, are we recording? Should I change my grammar? Can I start from the beginning? I made a grammar error. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Like... Did you catch baby screaming in the background of any of that? What did it... Wait, you were recording this? Alright, shall we pick it up from the top? <laughs> yeah, in order to empower our community, follow me on Twitter. <laughs> Say something. Something. Oh, that was really good. That's it. That's all I got. I just want to thank uh, the Academy. Boom!